G'day guys, welcome to today's vlog. I believe I said in one of my videos that I was going to put together my bike, but I never actually got around to doing so. And it's just been sitting here with no handlebars, no seat, and the derailleur sort of half on there. The rear derailleur. So first mission for today is to get that done. And also feed this one. So we come here. Some time has passed. It took me quite a while. The giant Deffy is all in one piece and it's almost ready for a ride. So what I'm gonna do is get a video edited. I need to get a video edited for today. So I'm gonna get that done. Currently have one small problem in regards to trying to get this edit done. My hard drive is full. It is chocker blocks. It has like one gigabyte of data left or storage left and it is a one terabyte. So it's full from Bike Tour USA, the daily vlogs, Drone footage, Japan tour, and Thailand adventures. However, I did find this old hard drive that I did have laying around. This bad boy is 160 gigabytes. The only problem is, if CP is watching this, he'll be cringing at the sight of this. It is old school technology, and it does not format, or this computer has no idea what this thing is. It's just like an alien to it. So that's not working. So my last resort for the time being, until I go buy a new one, is to use this to transmit it onto there for now while I get the edit done. Not sure if I told you guys but today is Sunday so everything is basically closed so I can't get one but that'll be something that I have to get tomorrow. So I'm going to transmit the data onto this 16 gigabyte USB. I found this USB in a pocket of a suit that I picked up from the thrift. It was some kind of financial planners. He's got like all these information on here. So I'm just going to wipe this and then put my recent vlog clips up on there. Video edited and video uploaded. I also want to get some listings done for today. I sold one thing and I want to try and boost that and get some more sales. Sunday is normally pretty slow from experience, but it just depends on the day. So I'm just going to whack out a few listings. I really want to get rid of that noise. I don't know. I don't know what it is, but every night it seems to just want to wake up and be real noisy. Something nocturnal that lives under the house or in the wall. So I'm going to go under the house and inspect and see if I can find what this creature, what this noise is and see if we can get it out of there. Thinking it's a, a mouse or a really large cockroach or a bird or a cat. Maybe not a cat. Because if it was a cat it would meow. And it hasn't meowed, so I'm not sure, but I'm going to inspect. But before I do that, I'm in a listing mood. I've got some momentum going, so I'm going to list some windows that we have out the front that Dad wants me to sell for him. Not sure if you guys remember back to the vlog when I fixed my car and I had to get the part for it. This is the part that we took out of it. I don't think I showed you guys on that vlog. So this is what the part looks like. But look at it, it is in pieces. It is absolutely just wrecked. Like it's just so frail and just fallen to bits. Like, look at this, ready? <laughs> I just got this. Oh, it's really bad. So glad I got that fixed. As you can probably tell, I made it under the house and it's very dark in here so you probably can't see but I'm trying to locate my bedroom Oh, it's so dark By looking at the ductors So this is the ductor for the kitchen So if I go down this way a bit further I should get to my room which I think is down there Nah, I couldn't find it I don't know what it was, but there's heaps of spider webs under here. A lot of spiders. I was hoping it was going to be easier than it was, but that was pretty difficult. So I'm working on 
getting some more listings up tonight. I want to try and keep driving that traffic to my eBay store and keep making sales. I've been deciding where I'm going to go tomorrow. I think I might go on a thrift trip for the week, maybe go away, I don't know, I'm saying the whole week, maybe for five days, Monday to Friday, and just hit it hard with thrifts and try and build up my inventory, because what I want to do is build my inventory up on a solid level of inventory in regards to high profit items, so that when I make the sales, it's, it's creating more revenue, which is then going to be turned into more capital to help grow the business even further. What I'm going to do is ship out the items that I've sold over the weekend. So let's get stuck into those items and I'll show you what I've sold. I'm just going through the items that I've got to ship out tomorrow. So let me go through them and share with you what I sold. So we have a Zoo York size large long sleeve shirt. This sold for $10. This was one of mine for a long time. I just decided to sell it. This is one of the women's clothing that I got in the 80 plus or 90 item bulk lot. Witchery, just some shorts, nothing special. They sold for $4. Same again, these sold for $4 too. Syndicate pants, nothing special. Then I sold this Versace jeans couture shirt. This one, this one sold for 30 bucks. Then I sold a pair of these Kobe shoes. These sold for 50 bucks. And this small parcel over to the parcels that are pre-packaged and ready to go. We have a pair of these SMS Santani cycling shorts sold for 25 bucks. Then we have a wetsuit. This is an Orca triathlon wetsuit sold for $30. Then the last item going out is a pretty cool sale. It is a pair of Doc Martin boots in a size 7. These are the English ones. These sold for 69 bucks. I paid $5 for those. But that is it for all the items that are going out. I'm going to finish the vlog up here. Thank you guys for watching. I'm going to get this video edited and uploaded. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.